And uh, the early people who got here were all given a card. And on the, on the back of the card is a number, so we're going to be using those. As I'm getting older, I, I can say I'm the oldest person in this room by quite a few decades, by, by the look of it. Um, I, need, I need to try to keep my brain active. And I've always liked to, telling jokes. And my big worry was that I'd forget my jokes. Have you, have you ever met people, they, they start to tell you a joke and they remember everything except the punchline? Isn't that infuriating? I didn't want to end up like that. So uh, one day I was telling someone a joke and it gave, it gave me a great idea. That the joke is, this uh, young man was sentenced to prison and it was his first day and he was put in a cell with a guy who'd been there for many, many years. And uh, everything was fine until 10 o'clock at night, the lights were turned out and there was silence for a little while. Then someone in one of the other cells called out 28 and everyone burst out laughing, laughing. Then there was silence and someone called out 74 and again everyone started laughing. This happened several times and finally the young guy said to the old, the old cellmate, he said, what, what is going on? And the old guy said, well we've all been here so long, we know all the jokes. So to save time, instead of saying the joke, you just call out the number. <laughs> and that reminds us. He said, why don't you give it a go? A go? And the young guy thought for a bit, and he thought, hmm, well, wh wh why not? So uh, he, he was brave enough, and he called out, 18! <coughs> and the place erupted with laughter. Uh, his cellmate was, tears were rolling down his eyes, absolute paroxysms of laughter. And when it finally, finally quietened down, the young guy said, that must have been a good joke. And the old guy said, no, it wasn't that hot, but we haven't heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's what gave me the idea, the idea for this. You've all got a number on the back of your cards. I've numbered my jokes. So could someone call out a number and we'll see if I can remember the joke? 21. 20, 20, 28. Okay. Um, okay. I think that's a joke I forgot to remember. No, no. <laughs> there, there, there were two, ni two knives. And um, one said to the other, you're looking pretty sharp today. Is that, is that right? And I think I wrote it on the Seven of Diamonds. Is that right? Is it the Seven of Diamonds? It is? Oh, gee, I'm better at it. Oh, good, good. Okay, anyone else? Yeah? 51. 51. Okay. Um, this couple, elderly couple, had finally won the lottery. Had, uh, had more money than they could ever dreamed they could ever, ever have. And uh, after they finished celebrating, the wife said to her husband, what, what should we do about all those begging letters? And he thought for a moment, he said, I know what, let's keep sending them out. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll grow. It'll grow. <laughs> and and uh, that, I think that was the eight of diamonds, is it? Yeah, eight of diamonds. Good, good, good. Yes, sir. Uh, 20. 20. Okay. This guy um, went out for the weekend and he had to fairly exciting sort of weekend, a different weekend. When he turned up at work on Monday morning, he had a great big nose ring. And all the staff were tittering and laughing about it. And finally, just before lunchtime, someone went up to him and said, how much did you pay for that ring? And he said, I paid for it through the nose. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that's a five of clubs. Five of clubs. Good. Good. Oh, this must be your wife. No? Oh. 38. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, yes, the other, the other week I went to the movies and just before it started, this guy came in with a dog and he sat down in the front row and I was fascinated with the dog because all the way through the movie, the movie he interacted in the happy bits he laughed, in the sad bits he cried. He was really, he loved it. And at the end, I went up to the guy who owned the dog and said, I'm absolutely fascinated with your dog. He loved that movie. And the guy said, yes, I'm amazed too. He hated the book. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think that might be the three of clubs. Three of clubs, yeah. Three. Ten! Ten, oh! Ten. Oh, you woke me two. up. Two. Thank you. Ten. Ten. Okay. Sorry? Two. Oh, two. It was two. Hang on. What, what was... Oh, two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yes, what sort of lighting did Noah have on, you know, on his ark? Floodlights. <laughs> Some of these my granddaughter gave me. And I think the card might be the six of spades. Six of spades. Yeah, we'll just do a couple more and then we'll let it get. 46. Okay. Um, 
Oh, yes, yes. This guy was sitting at home one afternoon. There was a dog knock on the door. When he answered it, there was a, a huge, two-meter-tall cockroach standing there. And the cockroach be proceeded to beat him up thoroughly. Next thing he knew, he was in the hospital. And when he woke up, there was a doctor looking over him. And the doctor said, what happened? And the guy told him about this cockroach. And the doctor said, yes, we heard there was a nasty bug going around. <laughs> And that must be eight o'clock. Yeah. yeah. La last one. One more. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Who is that? Who is twenty-one? Oh, you sir. Me. Would you think of your name? I think it's coming to me. Simon. Yeah. Good. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Um. Oh yes. Well, why why do fish not play tennis? They're scared of the net. <laughs> that's seven o'clock. Okay. Oh well, thank you. I think I think I've warmed up enough now, so we can proceed. I'd like to.